Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. So today's clip I'm going to cover the brand new Hover Camera Passport that I would mentioned on the vlog briefly the other day and I was overwhelmed by the amount of questions and responses I got to that segment of the vlog. Um, I think I've had 25 or 30 messages and questions and comments about what is this technology, what's it all about, what do you think of it, how expensive is it. So I thought, you know, I'll go through this in, in detail and give you my impressions of it. But before I get too deeply into it, I got to say out of the gate, I'm blown away by this technology. I called it alien technology on the vlog. I really believe that's the case. It's like Martians came down and handed these guys a blueprint and a circuit board and said, go build this thing. It's, it's really that advanced over a lot of the technologies that are out there today for a bunch of different reasons. The technology itself isn't anything groundbreaking or innovative. What they've done essentially is taken a high quality camera, video camera and camera, and marry it up with some drone technology, very basic drone technology. But the product is brilliant. The fact that they've married those two together and made this a simple device, consumer friendly, easy to use, it, it's everything, it's ticking all the box of a popular product. So, you know, you could argue as drone operators, we've had drones forever, drones have cameras on them, you could, you could argue that you've got small drones now, um, you know, like the Cheerson products or the Unique Breeze or the Mavic and the, and the Karma product, but those are fundamentally drones. And, and the challenge as an operator of a drone I have is if I'm at a backyard barbecue or I'm at the beach, you know, for me to get that perfect shot of my family or that crowd, I've got to go through the drone setup. I've got to, you know, break open the case, slap a battery in it, power it up, connect it up to a controller, make sure I've got the right, you know, I'm not in an area where it's restricted flights, put the drone up. You know, that's five minutes of work to get the drone up. Then I start wondering, is the picture worth it, right? So it's not, it's not an instantaneous, like, impulsive thing to just take a picture. Whereas this product, it's such a simple operation. It's a, it's a two-second operation to get this thing flying, and the pictures are fantastic. So let me get into the details of it a little bit. So first off, about the company. It's made by a company called Zero Zero Robotics, brand new company based in California. They're headed up by a genius team of people. And when I say genius, I mean like PhDs from Stanford. They've worked at Twitter. They've worked for cloud computing companies, venture capitalists. So they're kind of in the heart of Silicon Valley out there in the midst of all this technological innovations. So brilliant company, great product, smart people running it. Uh, this is their first product. Now, it's their flagship product. And I, I'm interested and curious about the fact that they didn't just call it the Hover Camera. They called it the Hover Camera Passport, which leads me to believe there may be other versions of this deep in their development labs being worked on that maybe are bigger or cooler or smaller or who knows, right? I'm not, I'm not privy to that information, but that clue is kind of interesting to me. So let's see where this goes from here. But the Passport, the first product they've got, is a tiny little device. It's about the size of a VCR tape or a small paperback book. And the operation is so simple that you turn it on, you split open the two bottom panels, and those become two flat uh, surfaces that are encased in carbon fiber like webbing so you can't cut your fingers on the blades and in the center sits the camera. The minute you flip those things up they start spinning then you can just hold it in midair, let it go and it hovers. It just sits there. It, it's magical. It, the experience is magical and I've got a video up here showing you that but from a consumer standpoint the wow factor on that is off the charts. So people seeing that Again, it looks like a magic trick. It's like David Blaine put some kind of camera together and there you go. So that'd be cool enough. But then on top of it, it's got stabilization. So it's gonna give you a nice solid picture. You can whip up your smartphone, open up an application and actually navigate away from yourself up to about 60 feet. But you can navigate away and position it correctly to get the exact perfect picture. So if you're with a group of friends, it's not this big to do about I'm firing up my drone, let's all get ready. You flip it open, put it out and you take the picture. So it is. It's like a modern space age selfie stick that can go all over the place. So that would be cool enough if that's all it did. Um, and again, the filming of it and the pictures are fantastic. So the video is 4K footage. You got a bunch of different choices on how many frame rates you're gonna use, what type of frame rates. The pictures are 13 megapixel pictures, so it's fantastic as far as the quality goes. It has internal storage capacity of 32 gigabytes, so you can put a lot of stuff in there. It's easy to connect up and get those pictures off there. You have smartphone control. Um, it has a battery that'll last 10 minutes. Now you're not gonna fly this like a regular drone where you're gonna take it up on a mountainside. You could do that if you wanted to, especially if you're out in the outdoors. It'd be kinda cool if you're hiking or biking or whatever to put this thing up and get some pictures in the outdoors. But beyond the basic control, it has 360 programming. So you can put it up in the air and it'll do a complete panoramic view of the area you're in. It has follow me mode. So it zeroes in on your face and will follow you as you walk or bike or whatever. So. I think they've built just enough technology into it 
to make it extremely functional, but not too much to make it overwhelming for the average consumer. So for me, I think they've got a real winner on their hands here. And I've been following this since springtime, like early springtime when it was first announced and there were rumors about this thing coming out. It's available for sale now. Below I've got a link to their website. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I would love to review this as a hands-on review. So if the guys from Zero Zero are watching this, send me an email and let's figure something out so I can get my hands on this product. But uh, the minute it is available for sale, I think it is already, uh, I'll place an order for it and I'll have one on the way so I can show you what it looks like and compare it to other RC products. But I, I hesitate to call it a drone because even though there are some drone similarities about it and it does hover and it's got blades and it's got you know sort of image stabilization and, and f flying stabilization it's not really a drone to me it's it's a it's a new device it's a new category device and if i'm a betting man i'm betting that this is so popular that in a year's time there'll be 30 other companies that'll build some type of flying camera so i think it is like it or not it's going to be a new category of product that we're not going to get away from so as the price drops and it gets closer and closer to $200, $100, whatever, you're going to see these things all over the place. I haven't played with it myself yet, so I don't know how noisy it is. But if it's whisper quiet, I can't imagine the wow factor of taking this thing out at a gathering, opening it up, putting it in the air, and letting it go. I just The nerd in me wants to do that every chance I get anywhere I go. So I'm uh, very excited about the product. And again, I think... As a company, big things ahead for these guys. So I'm hoping that this is the first of many products from them. But uh, for me, I can't wait to get this thing in my hands and play with it because it just looks that cool. So anyway, that's the hover cam. I know I sound like a bit of a fanboy here, but any kind of new technology like this, especially something that breaks open a new category, something to pay attention to. So that's all I had for today. Hopefully this was helpful for you again. Any comments or questions, drop them below. Uh, there's a link down there to get you to their website so you can do more research on it. I've had some videos running up here off their website as well to give you a feel for how the thing works. But uh, really simple device. I think the price is maybe a little bit higher than it needs to be now, but that'll come down over time, I'm sure. And uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing other big things from this company. So thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully this has been helpful, and uh, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.